Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to perform a good tourniquet application. Okay, so what we're going to end up using uh, for the venipuncture draw is the cubital vein right here, the median cubital vein, as discussed in another video. And what you want to do um, is to apply the tourniquet three to four inches above the draw side of where you're going to draw the patient. So a good rule of thumb is four fingers for someone who has small hands like myself and three fingers for someone with larger fingers. Um, this is the uh, way that the tourniquet should look after application. Uh, notice that the tails of the tourniquet are facing up towards the patient's arm and that is um, the way you want to do it because you don't want your draw spot to be contaminated after you've cleaned it or you don't want it to block where you're going to perform your venipuncture. Okay, so tails are up facing towards the patient's shoulder and when I release it, it automatically falls away. Okay, so when we're drawing the patient's blood, you don't want to have the tourniquet on for longer than a minute, um, because if you do, then you risk the chance of hemolysis and hemoconcentration, um, which is uh, the proteins being falsely elevated in the patient's blood because of um, how uh, you restricted the blood flow from where it's, um, where it's uh, going so that would mean that there's less um, pressure um, uh, less water going um, down there and will falsely elevate the protein number or protein concentration in the blood when you analyze it okay so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to lengthen the left side more so than the right side. That's just a personal thing that I do. You don't have to do it that way, but I find it easier for me. So you pull these up taut, okay? Put them both in your right hand, and then I like to say you cinch down the bottom, okay, with your left hand. And when you do that, you're going to turn your fingers so that the left side would um, end up coming on top and you put with your right hand you put the tourniquet underneath um, that side <laughs> and it ends up putting your tails there it looks horrible now um, because I did it so slowly so let's release it and try again so we're going to hold it up oops we're gonna hold it up tightly Okay, still in the right, the correct spot. All right, we're gonna hold it up with the right hand, cinch it down a little bit with the left, turning as you go, put the, the right side um, of it underneath so you have your two tails, and then you let it go. <laughs> oh, it's so bad when I do it slowly. Okay, let's try it a little faster. So um, I'm making the left side longer, holding up both, cinching down, turning, and tucking the right one under so that I have my two tails. Okay, beautiful. All right, that's what we're going to do. And then after you apply your tourniquet, you're going to then feel for that draw site. Okay, so I said that I had already figured out where I wanted to draw from this patient before I did this. Um, but that was because I applied the tourniquet beforehand. Um, so first when you come in, you're going to um, talk to the patient and you're going to also assess their arm. And so when you uh, put the tourniquet on, you're assessing the veins of that patient's arm to feel where a good, um, a good vein is, one that bounces back very well. It's not hard. Um, it doesn't seem knotted or anything like that. They don't have any devices on their arm. Um, they didn't have a mastectomy on this side, um, which is a breast removal. <clears throat> So um, there are a lot of things that you look for before you actually do this, but um, when you do this, then you can feel and see veins better, and then um, you can uh, start your venipuncture process afterwards. So you can remove it um, just like we did before. Get your supplies ready from your tray um, that you brought with you, and then you can end up 
<clears throat> talking with the patient, cleansing the area, and then starting your venipuncture procedure. So we will do that in another video, and I hope to see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great one. Bye.